boys action about ready to get tipped off here in Marysville as the Bulldogs play host to the Clay Center Tigers. Of course, moments ago, the Lady Bulldogs fell to the Lady Tigers 32-24 after holding a 21-14 lead. Lady Tigers were paced by Haley Bent with 13 and Regan McDonald with 11. Marysville very even scoring from their starting five. No scoring off the bench, though, to speak of as Haley Ingalls chipped in six. Lindsey Dressman had five. Bella Raider had three. Bryn O'Neill had three, two, excuse me, and then Maddie Cap had two kicked in there. The woe for the Lady Bulldogs was that fourth quarter. Clay Center ended that game on a 16-0 scoring streak, bringing the Lady Bulldogs' season record to 0-3, Clay Center moving to 2-1. Two and one. Here in the boys' game, Marysville, of course, coming off an impressive 64-35 win down at Valley Heights last week, looking to move to 3-1 on the season, start league play 1-0 as always so ever important. Clay Center comes in with a 1-1 and record. They lost a two-point game, first game out of the season versus Rock Creek, 55-53. Then they followed that up with a win at Beloit Tuesday, 65-59. High-scoring offense, almost averaging 60 points a game. Do these Clay Center Tigers? We'll get into all that action here in just a little bit, as well as starters momentarily we're going to jump on in into action but we're going to take one more quick break we'll bring it right back to marysville high school here max Blasky with you on the call second half friday night action is about to kick off underway you're listening to high school basketball here on KNDY radio 94.1 am 1570 and of course online anytime and download our mobile app Update your home today with a new look from Feldkamp's Furniture Mart. See their tremendous selection of living room, dining room, and bedroom sets and furniture, as well as bedding, accent pieces, appliances, and more. Flooring choices with professional installation are available to complete a new look from start to finish for a single room or your entire home. Financing options for any budget up to 24 months with no interest, as well as free delivery making buying local easy. Shop Feldkamp's Furniture and Flooring in Marysville today. Tension in Marysville is a leading national manufacturer and marketer of custom envelope products. Great career opportunities include operations, sales, customer service, accounting, tech, and administrative support. Go online to tensioncorp.com for the careers tab for more details on currently available opportunities. And apply today with Tension Corporation in Marysville, an equal opportunity employer. Tires aren't all the same and neither are tire dealers. Find a dealer like Mike's OK Tire who carries Michelin and BF Goodrich tires. Michelin offers safe, fuel-efficient, long-lasting tires that provide exceptional performance and extraordinary value. BF Goodrich tires are built for drivers looking for high performance and aggressive styling. Next time you need tires, don't deal with amateurs. See the tire experts. See Mike's OK Tire in downtown Marysville for tires, repair, alignment, and service. Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions, your farm and home marketing team since 1976. Let the family team of Tim, Tom, and Rob Olmsted and brother-in-law Tom Kirkland guide you in your real estate experience of selling or buying a home or farmland. Olmsted Real Estate and Auctions is experienced in providing timely, professional, and honest service. Find them on the web at olmstedrealestate.com or call today at 785-353-2210. The Nordis Motor Company in Marysville has a like new 2019 Chevy Traverse LT with a leather interior, just 31,000 miles. They have a 2017 GMC Acadia Limited priced under $20,000 and a 2014 Chevy Captiva it's a local trade and awaiting your test drive at the Norris Motor Company. High school boys, action is just about to kick off here in Marysville as the 2-1 and one Bulldogs play host to the 1-1 one and one Calais Center Tires. Going to go ahead and jump on into starting lineups as they are coming out onto the court. Starting off first for the visiting Clay Center Tigers. Number 10, Mark Hoffman, a 6'2 senior. Lone senior in this starting lineup, 3 in the 12 for Clay Center. But a young team here, you're going to find out. 
So, starting off, number 10, of course, Mark Hoffman, 6'2", senior. 13, Jace Wheeler, a six-foot sophomore. Number 14, Owen Craig, a 5'10", sophomore. Number 23, Cole Patterson, a 5'10", sophomore. And number 30, Weston Hammond, a 5'11", sophomore. Play Center Tigers led by head coach Travis Smith, Ryan Shaman, and Gary Russell as assistants. So a young Play Center team here tonight will be interested to see how they match up, of course, against the senior-led Marysville Bulldogs. Same starting five as they have been all season. Number zero, Jack Lauer, 6'2", senior. Number one, Will Otot, a 6'1", sophomore. Number three, Peyton Smith, a 6'3", senior. Number five, Red Williams, a 6'4 senior, and twin brother Rook Williams, number 12, a 6'4 senior as well. Of course, the Bulldogs led by Scott Brown, T.A. Horn, and Tara Hager are your assistant coaches. Both teams coming in off a win, of course, Marysville, the impressive 34-35 to win down at Valley Heights last Tuesday night, led by Jack Lauer, who had 27 points, 23 there in that second quarter. Look for the offense to keep going for both of these teams. It will be Rick Williams and Mark Hoffman jumping it off mid-circle, tip-off just about underway. And we're off. Play center is going to control the tip. It'll be Cole Patterson bringing it across the timeline for play center. It'll be man-to-man here for the Bulldogs as they work it around the top here. Play center does Craig here, top of the key, going against Williams. That's going to be Red guarding him. Man-to-man, straight man-to-man for the Marysville Bulldogs. In the lane, it's going to be first foul opportunity called on Will Otot as the sophomore going to keep his feet man in front of him, driving past him. Ball's going to be underneath the basket for Clay Center. That was Mark Hoffman getting the jump on Otot. Long three ball on the way from Patterson, about four feet behind the three-point line. Shots going to be off and no good, but it's going to go over towards Marysville after a tussle on the defensive boards. Of course, Marysville in their home whites, red numerals, black lettering along it, play center in their travel blacks, and orange numerals, play center across the top. A little runner into the lane. That's going to be Rook Williams trying to get her his first bucket of the game, but he's going to be fouled, going to go to the line early auction here. Number 30, Weston Hammond is going to pick up his first personal foul as that's going to send Rick Williams to the line. First one up and good for Williams as he's going to get our started, scoring started off here. one nothing Marysville. Of course, Williams had himself a decent night. Ten points the other night down, and Marysville two for two from the line as he goes two for two here, just like he started off down at Valley Heights. Marysville early 2 nothing lead as Mar- Play Center brings it here left to right as we look at it. It's going to be Patterson running point guard, and he takes a little screen and roll right into the lane. Two points, left-handed bucket up and good. Oton's going to bring it back for the Bulldogs here left side. Up top, Smith now over to Lauer, right corner. Lauer's going to jack up a three after a hot start last game. Williams into the lane. Good, powerful rebound there. Rick Williams as he gets the offensive board. Two points up and good for the twin brother as Marysville now holds the 4-2 lead. Spinning into the lane, a little up shot, up no good by Weller for Clay Center. Rebound taken down by Otot. Otot looking to push, looking push, looking for Williams here left side. Williams into the lane, blocking call, and Williams is going to go back to the line. So don't know if that's how Coach wanted to draw it up here early on in this game, but Rook Williams with two shots attempts and now going back to the line there that one's going to be on the floor but drawing another foul Cole Patterson picking up that foul as after an outside pass they throw it into Peyton Smith he gets the easy deuce Marysville quickly out 6-2 here first quarter action swings the left side to Weller trying to work against Otot does drive left baseline snazzy little play there by Jason Weller the six foot sophomore athletic play as he got the left hand to lay up to go now only trailing by two is clay center it's going to be three ball on the way from straight away that's going to be rhett williams the twin brother not to be outdone a scoring outbreak has popped off here in marysville three ball cash money for rhett williams marys a one-on-one on the night good looking start here offensively if we want some points looks like we're going to get it here tonight marysville in the man to man play center working it around top hoffman's going to line up a three ball no good rebound taken in by otot otot's going to look to push here lauer left side lauer look at the push against the smaller hoffman now back out to otot otot's into the lane good strong take though there 
I believe Owen Craig's going to get the foul called. He thought he had all ball, but just good passing so far here early on tonight from Marysville. As that's going to send Will Otot back to the line. It's going to be his first opportunity here tonight. First chance to get in the scoring column here. Free throw up and no good as Marysville's going to start off the night. Two for three from the line. Both teams high scoring. Play center averaging almost 60 points a game. Marysville just right behind them at 57. Defensively, though, Marysville has shut them down as Willow talked second free throw. Only allowing 39 points is Marysville, but 57 for Clay Center. So defensively, Clay Center has seen some lacking, but Marysville has looked good their first three weeks, of course. One first game against Hiawatha, dropped the next one to Sabetha, beating Valley Heights last Tuesday. As on the defensive end, Cole Platt Patterson gets his first three of the night to go as Clay Center now only trails by three, 10 to seven. Here, five minutes left to play. First quarter action. It's going to be Rick Williams in the corner. Now swings out top to Otot. Now ball in the hands of Rhett Williams, right wing. Back to Rick Williams in the left corner. Now swings it back over to his brother. Brother's going to try another three ball. On the way! Rick Williams back-to-back triples now as he has six quick points. Marysville out to the quick 13-7 lead. First quarter action here against Clay Center. Little 1-3-1, one, one, little 2-3 zone here for Marysville. Williams Brothers up top, Lauer down below with Smith and Otot. Into the middle, though, it goes. A nice little turnaround jump shot is good for Mark Hoffman as Clay Center found the soft spot in that Marysville zone. Made them pay two balls good. Marysville's going to pull it back out a little bit now as Clay Center's showing pressure, but easily broken by Will Otot. Rep Williams in the corner, swings it now left corner to his brother Rook. Rook trying to look for someone, finds a right wing corner. Another three ball on the way from West. Not quite that one. Rep Williams going to go three for three, but offensive rebound. Willow caught down below. Work making his action work. Two points up and good for the sophomore. Fast and furious action. Here we go. Three ball on the other way from play center. Rebound's going to be fought for. Obviously, shots on the same miss, but it is going to stay here with play center as Lauer battles for that board. Sanders Utterman's going to check in for Jack Lauer along with Thomas Barron's getting their first actions. Barron's checks in here for Smith. Clay Center's going to inbound it underneath their own basket. It's going to be Weller trigger man for Clay Center. Throws it right off the hands of Rick Williams. Good job there. Man defense for the Bulldogs here early on. 5-9 our score. 4 8 left to play here. First quarter. Clay Center under. Inbounding to underneath their own ball. Another kick ball here by Williams. Good reflexes, not letting Hoffman get anything going. Of course, Hoffman, Mark Hoffman, the only senior on this team, six foot two. A lot of sophomores here, four starters for Clay Center. So a younger team, and right there you're seeing it. A miscommunication as Hoffman tried to hit Flatterson coming out of the baseline screen and roll. But it's going to be a turnover on the part of Clay Center, Marysville basketball. Rep Williams inbounds it here to Willow Todd as Clay Center is going to look to be in a little 2 1 2 half course pressing, trying to get Marysville a little sped up. But they're going to find Rep Williams' corner. Let's try another three. That one's no good as now he's two for three here, or two for four on the night. Clay Center is going to push. It's going to be Hoffman pushing right side into the teeth of this Marysville defense. Stop though. Good by Williams as that's a turnover. Hoffman once again tried to hit a cutting. Clatterson, but couldn't find the connection there as turnover. Clay Center gives it right on back to Marysville. Devin Tomer checks into the game for the Bulldogs. Jack Lauer is back out there as well. Williams will take a seat. That is going to be Rhett. So Rook will stay out on the court. You're five for Marysville right now. Lauer's, Lauer, Rook Williams, Devin Tomer. Thomas Barons and Sanders Utterman, three subs in for Marysville right now, but still holding a 15-9 lead as Marysville works it around the top. Ball in the hands of Williams, left wing here, looking to get a screen and roll. Can't find anyone. Finally finds Zutterman, far right corner. Now ball in the hands of Lauer, right wing. Lauer looking to get something going into the lane. Finds Tomer here, left corner, three on the way. No good, but Thomas Barons right there where he needs to be. Air ball, three attempt, landed in the hands of Barron's, his first two of the night, pushes Marysville leads 14-9, as they're on the hustle. J. 
Jack Lauer gets it to Devin Tomer. Bounce pass back to Barron's on the fast break. Good passing there for the Bulldogs. Back-to-back buckets for Thomas Barron's. Really set up there by Xander Zimmerman on that fast break attempt. Or excuse me, that was Devin Tomer setting them up there on the fast break attempt. Marysville still leading. Stifling defense here from the Bulldogs as Play Center can't find anything to go. Still trailing 19 to 9, and that's a turnover right into the hands of Marysville. Lauer's going to push here right side for the Bulldogs. A little one on one action into the lane, kicks it out here near side to Zutterman. Now swings it right side, Barons. Barons a little floater up in the lane. Thomas Barons, six quick points, back to back to back buckets, and that's going to force Play Center to take a timeout. We're going to take it with them. You're listening to high school basketball action here, KNDY Radio. Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington offers sales, template, and installation of countertops, including quartz, solid surface, and Corian. Visit chromielumber.com or stop in 609 Carolina in Marysville or 200 Ballard in Washington. For your next kitchen remodel project, see Chromie Lumber in Marysville and Washington. Fast-paced offensive action here as Marysville has throttled out to a 21-9 lead against Clay Center. Still 2.30 left to play first quarter. But Thomas Barron's with six quick points off the bench as now Rick Williams will take a breather here. All starters out for Marysville except for Lauer and Oton. Defensively for Marysville, haven't allowed Clay Center to get anything going. And I guess that defense has led to offenses. Two transition buckets has really helped Marysville get a flow here. Here's good defense near side. Sanders Zetterman going to force the missed shot and pull down the rebound. Lauer's going to bring it up left side. Lauer almost loses it, but gains control. Swings it right side now to Otot. Marysville looks to reset. Looks to get a screen and roll, but pulls it back out. Wants to get it set up here. Otot right wing. Out by the timeline, now swings it here near side to Devin Tomer. Now they get it inside. Shoes, Sanders Zetterman, way too easy for the 6'2 seniors. He was standing all alone on the left block, a little up and over, has now pushed this lead. 23-9, Marysville looking to get a stop right down the lane, but I believe a foul is going to be called out top. That was Colton Platterson getting right to the lane. Going to draw a foul for Marysville. That's going to bring back Rhett Williams for Marysville as Willow Tot takes a nice breather. Three quick points here early on for the sophomore. That foul. That foul was on 14. Blake Spicer for Marysville. I think they got that one wrong. But here on the defensive end, as over and back as Hoffman had the ball picked out of his hands. He tried to regain it with standing on the out-of-bounds line. Turnover Clay Center. Marysville now rolls it back offensively, trying to keep this flow going. It's going to be Lauer here, swinging it near side to Sanders Utterman, swinging it now back up top to Jack Lauer. Lauer with the ball in his right hand, goes into the lane. Nice, strong take, but we're going to get a foul called on the shooting as Jack Lauer is going to go to the line looking to put down, or it's going to be on the floor. Foul's going to be on Jace Weller, his second personal foul here on the night. believe they gave that last foul on Marysville to Willow Tot. Still only two team fouls for Marysville, five now for Clay Center. Marysville's getting close already to that double bonus, One or bonus, 125 left to play first quarter, still leading 29, 23-29. It's going to be Smith, right wing, ball in his hands, looking to get to the lane. Nice right-handed power dribble by Peyton Smith and right to the lane. That's going to be four points here already in the first quarter for the senior. Now into the lane, off the hands of Marysville player, but good quick hands of Jack Lauer as Clay Center got it right to the front of the rim, had a, rim, had a shot opportunity for Weller. Quick defense, though, forces it to stay here. Clay Center, no shot opportunity. They go back to Hoffman down below inside. Three balls going to be on the way from Craig. Right wing, money ball. Owen Craig, his first three here of the night. Touch Clay Center. Marysville's lead, 25-14. Lauer the only one inbounding it for Marysville. They finally get it into Williams. Gets it back out to Lauer. Almost a five-second call, but survived by Marysville. Lauer brings it up slowly. Now swings it right side to Williams. That's Rhett. Now goes into the corner here towards Zutterman. Swings it back up top. Lauer, a deep three. Hands it. Nothing but net. Jack Lauer, his first bucket of the night, as now every starter for Marysville has scored 28 
12. First quarter action, 20 seconds left to play here in Marysville. Out top, hounding defense by Rhett Williams. It's going to be all in the hands of Colton Flatterson. Screen's going to be set here by Craig, trying to roll a little screen and roll action, but Marysville staying strong defensively, good man-to-man defense. Nothing doing for Clay Centers. They threw it inside, now swings it back out top to Flatterson. Flatterson stopped again by Rhett Williams now a little floater in the lane, blocked there. That was Jace Wheeler trying to get it off at the end of the buzzer. Jack Lauer gets the block, and that's going to be our quarter score. Mary's the leading 28-12. to 12. You're listening to High School Basketball KNDY Radio. If you're 50 or over, it may be time to switch your auto and home insurance. The AARP Auto and Home Insurance Program from the Hartford is now available through the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville. Discover rates, benefits, and service designed for AARP members, plus extra savings when you insure both your auto and home. Call the Copeland Insurance Agency in Marysville at 619-6220. That's 619-6220. Or visit copelandinsurance.net. Certain policy features not available in all states. Applicants are individually underwritten. Hartford Fire Insurance Company, Hartford, Connecticut. The greatest investment a company can make is their employees. To kick off Landall's 60th year in business, they've implemented a wage increase of $1.25 per hour. Landall offers stable, permanent, full, and part-time employment with many occupation paths to choose from. Competitive wages, career advancement, and a wide range of benefits that include $2 per hour shift differential, 4% attendance bonus, promotions, raises, longevity, profit sharing, and Christmas bonus, paid time off, holidays, as well as comprehensive health insurance, $500 deductible, with vision, dental, company paid life, short-term, long-term disability insurance, 401k with company contribution, a safety glass and footwear allowance and fuel allowance, plus weekly paychecks. Check out the many opportunities available online at landall.com or phone 785-562-5381 to apply. Help make their 60th year the best one yet. An equal opportunity employer, vets and disabilities, welcome. High school basketball action here. Max Blasky with you on the call. Marysville Bull- Bulldogs leading the Clay Center Tigers 23-13 to there. As the free throw is gold, Cole Flatterson putting that one down as we had a foul on the offensive end. That's going to be Sanders Utterman picking up his first team's fifth. Second free throw up and no good, but an over the back call is going to be the whistle down low. I believe that was Weston Hammond getting a little too aggressive on that one. Marysville will inbounds it now, still with a marginable lead, 25 to 13. Williams will inbound it in. They do get it to Lauer. Now back to Williams right underneath the basket. Clay Center in some full court trapping pressure. little 2-2-1 pressure. Marysville real close to five again. There's going to be an almost turnover, and they do. Clay Center, Marysville turns it over. Sanders Utterman is going to pick up his second personal foul, though. But a little chaotic mess there as Clay Center forced Marysville to get out of their element. Jack Lauer got a little bit ahead of himself, tried to find Rick Williams there on the sideline. Going to quite do it. Turnover Marysville, a foul to Zutterman. Play center inbounds it, now working here left to right. They get it to the elbow. That's Jake Wheeler looking to make a move against this Marysville defense. Double dribble, though. Thought he did. Caught the ball, put it down once. Didn't think it was a complete catch. Did Wheeler, but a turnover nonetheless for Clay Center. Their pressure back here, man-to-man. They get it, though, into Lauer right in front of their bench. Coach Brown tells them to clear out. Jack Lauer is going to bring it across the timeline. Right side swings it up top here. Rep Williams gets it to his twin brother, Rook, right left wing. Looking inside, trying to get it to Smith, but can't. They get it to Zutterman on a little handoff. Now back up top here to Williams. Ball in the hands of Jack Lauer, left side. Now they swing it here near side to Rook. To his twin brother, Rhett. Now Lauer's on the look up a long three. It's going to be off the rim, but offensive rebound taken away by Zutterman. I believe it's going to stay with Marysville as getting in there was Jace Wheeler got a hand on the ball, but it is going to go off him, stay Marysville's way. No, they're going to give it to Clay Center. I thought it was going to stay with Marysville, but it's going to head on over to Clay Center. So Bulldogs still leading 20. 20- 28-13 on the defensive end here, looking to get a stop. It's going to go right side here. Hammond's going to go into lane, but blocked at the rim. Rook Williams reaching high for that rejection. Good defensive stop there. 
Lauer's going to look to get it to Williams. Almost red, stolen away by Clay Center. Turnover nonetheless, though. Lauer had a good look here at a running Williams coming down the left sideline, but a little bit too late with the pass. That's going to be a turnover back into the hands of Clay Center now. Pounding man-to-man defense from the Bulldogs as it's going to be ball in the hands of Wheeler up top. Wheeler looking to get it to someone, but great defense here by Marysville. Swinging it around, gets it off to Craig on a little handoff. Now back right back to Wheeler on a little handoff. We're going to have a extended push-off foul. That's going to be on Jack Lauer. That's going to be his first personal foul. Teams already fifth place center will inbound it underneath their own lane. Good job defensively, just a little bit too handsy on that one. Defense out top, singing man-to-man defense, trying to get into the lane as place center. I believe we have, we're going to have a walk there as Mark Hoffman could not find his feeding, couldn't find anyone to get it to. The senior here looking to get a little frustrated with this game as we're going along this Marysville defense they're bigger they're stronger they're a more athletic team and they're starting to show it here in this first half Lauer's going to bring it across the timeline it gets a little light man-to-man pressure but easily taken across by Lauer swings it up top here Rhett Williams now swings it near side Tomer left wing looking to get it into Rook Williams in the low post he does Jack Lauer's going to put up a three from the left corner as he hits his second one here of the night. Six points here for Jack Lauer in this first half. Quickly back, though, play center's way pushing the action was Colton Platson as that's going to be a foul Marysville. So every time that Marysville scores, every time Marysville scores or it's a turnover on their part, play center is very quick to push. So they like to get out and run in transition, whether it's off of made or miss, and they're going to need to because it's looking like they're having trouble scoring in this half court against a tough Marysville senior-led team. Going to go stay up towards Marysville, but we're going to have a timeout, Clay Center. We're going to take it with them. You're listening to High School Basketball, KNDY Radio. RX Drug Store in downtown Marysville is here for you with over-the-counter medicines for cold, flu, and allergy season and prescription drugs for more serious matters. They also offer curbside pickup and delivery services. Don't forget to bring in your new insurance card for the new year with RX Drug Store. Raising cattle is a business. And when your business needs a financial resource, we're a good company to call on. As your ag banking resource, we've gained a lot of experience over the years. Working with local producers, lending a hand. Talk to us. You'll be raising your livestock in good company. Citizen State Bank. Marysville, Waterville, and Hanover. Member FDIC. Max Blasky here on the call tonight as the Marysville Bulldogs have opened this one up. 31-13 is our second quarter score here in Marysville as the offensive firepower for the Bulldogs has taken over. 28 points there in the first half compared to 12 for Clay Center has really been the story. This defense for Marysville, I want to say more than the offense, as there's a rocket pass from Rook Williams trying to hit Jack Lauer on the offensive end of the court. Too much umps and too much pressure on that one. Turnover Marysville as now that's back-to-back-to-back turnovers for the Bulldogs offensively. Straight man-to-man defense here for the Bulldogs. Across the timeline, Hudson with the ball in his hand now gives it off to Hoffman, trying to run a little screen and roll, getting up into his body. I believe that will be Williams. It is Rook Williams. His first personal foul, but already team seventh as that's going to be one and one the rest of the way for Clay Center. So something to keep an eye on here as this half tends to progress. 5-13 to play second period, 31-13, but Clay Center already in the one and one First free throw, left-handed shot is up and good. Mark Hoffman, that's going to be his first bucket here of the night as that's only... Clay Center's second made free throw. They're two for three here so far on the night. Marysville the same, two for three as well. Free throw shooting has been excellent for both teams, though not that many. But turnovers for Marysville, so uncharacteristic ones. The second free throw is up and good for Hoffman. That's going to cut the Marysville lead down to 16. Quickly down the other way, though, Sanders Utterman left side, kicks it right up top to Lauer on the wing. Lauer dribbles out top of the key, really trying to force him the ball out of his hands. 
It's going to be in the hands, though, of Rhett Williams. Ball's going to be pass deflected. Jack Lauer's going to step into a triple. There's another one for the senior, and just like that, he has three triples here early on in this ball game. Of course, had 27 down at Valley Heights. Wild shot, Clay Centerways. That's going to be an over the back ball. Mark Hoffman, the senior, getting frustrated. Had an easy left hand layup there, but couldn't finish over the taller Rook Williams. Tried to get up for the offensive board over the back, though, as that will send Thomas Barons to the line here as now Marysville is in the one and one for the rest of the way. So both teams. Seven personal fouls early on. Second quarter action. Going to be free throws the rest of the way. Two dribbles, right hand for Barons. Up and no good. Hard off the back of the rim as Barons couldn't find the mark on that one. Quickly the other way. Clay Center looking to cut into this deficit. Up top, it's going to be ball in the hands of Hammond, and he turned it over. Happy feet, just like we noticed in that girls' game. Quickly gives it back to Marysville. Speaking of that girls game, if you didn't catch the action, Marysville girls fell to Clay Center 32-24 to after they held a 21-14 lead at half. But a 16-0 run for Clay Center in the fourth quarter moved the Lady Bulldogs on into 4-0 on this season. Marysville here having a little trouble finding their range here against this Clay Center moving 2-1-2 defense. Hit pass there. Clay Center goes out of bounds, though, but lazy over-the-head passes are starting to get tipped. Marysville's need to be a little more deliberate with where they put this ball. Like I mentioned moments ago, a taller, a more athletic team, and obviously more experienced team with 10 seniors here tonight. But some lazy passes are starting to take full last couple minutes. Need to clean that up if you're Marysville. Content to run with the clock here. Run this ball. Play center's going to stay in their little 2-1-2 moving zone. Moves back to a 2-3. Marysville doing a good job whipping it around. It's going to be ball in the hands of Rhett Williams right side up top. Now here he goes to Tomer. Now Jack Lauer. Lauer already with three threes here in this game. Looking to jump off his 27-point performance at Valley Heights. Over to Williams, over to Lauer. Now it's corner here, Tomer. Tomer looks to do something with it. Now right back out to Lauer. Lauer working to get one-on-one, gets into the lane, takes it out to Rook Williams. Now back out top here, Sanders Zutterman. Zutterman gets it into Barron's down left post. Back outside to Zutterman. Marysville not forcing anything here, taking good passes, what they need. Williams gets into the lane. That's Rhett Williams with the ball. Finds its way back in the hands of Jack Lowers. It always does. A little hesitation. He gets to the free throw line. Had an opportunity there, but gets it back off to Williams. As now we're going to roll another pick and roll. Lowers just pops the three. Why not? Not that one, though. As four Marysville defenders were there to offensive rebound. But Clay of Center comes away with it. Picked, hour, picked off by Jack Lauer. Good read on the defensive end. As now he pushes it for Marysville. Lauer trying to go coast to coast in the lane. I believe we're going to have a body call. It's going to be floor one and one opportunity. But Lauer will go to the lane anyway. So Marysville offensively seemed to find a little stagnant spot there, but they didn't, weren't able to find a lane into the Clay Center defense. A tough shot Lauer had to end up taking, but nonetheless comes back on the defensive end. A great steal from the senior, and now he steps to the line. Foul was on Weston Hammond as Lauer steps up. First one up and pure. First free throw make for the senior here tonight already with three triples in this ball game. One dribble right hand, deep breath up and pure. Wonderful back spin on that shot. Marysville now leads by 11. 36-15, 2.45 left to play here. Second quarter action as the Bulldogs host play. North, North Central Kansas League action opening up here tonight as the Clay Center Tigers have made their way up to Marysville. Of course, girls able to find the win against Marysville. Boys playing action right now. Good job here, Clay Center, working it around the top of the key. Three ball on the way. Rebound taken in by Barons. Good, strong rebound. Gets it off to Williams. That's going to be red. He's going to roll it up for Clay Center. Now gets it in the hands of Lauer, as it always seems to do. Rick Williams here, left corner, trying to find the lane. Now up top to Lauer. Two minutes left to play here. Marysville looking to get a good shot. Three ball on the way. Peyton Smith. Decent looking shot there. Just going to get that one. The ball Clay Center is going to push. Craig's going to push for the Tigers. He's going to step back, pop a three up. No good, though. Good opportunity for the sophomore. Just going to find the bottom of their net as Rook Williams pulls down that board. Coach Scott Brown shouting out 
instructions for his teams now as Barron hands it off to Williams. We're in a little backdoor action for Rook Williams. Nice little up and under. Couldn't find the bucket. Thomas Barron's good, heady action, getting the offensive rebound. We're going to have a jump ball situation. It's going to go back over to Marysville. But good job there by Barron's finding his way into the lane and always seems to find his nose in the middle of all the action every time it seems. Good player coming off the bench for the Bulldogs. The 6'4 senior is now on defense. Marysville straight man-to-man. Looking to shut down this play center offense. Leading 36-25, 120 left to play. First half action, Bulldogs versus the Tigers. In the lane, it goes Craig. Craig will stop, pop, and good. Owen Craig, his second bucket of the night as play center finally scores after a long scoring drought. But Marysville still with the commanding 36-17 lead. We're under one minute left to play here. First half action. It's going to be up top. Lauer's going to step into a three again. It's going to be far, long, long, no good. Rhett Williams pulls the offensive rebound, though. Craig pokes it away, but Williams regains. Inside the Barron right lane. Barron's is going to travel with it. Good move there by Thomas Barron's. Was going to kick it back out to Rhett Williams. He already has two threes here on the night. Couldn't find the lane on that one as Sanders Zetterman's going to come into the game for the before-mentioned Barons. 49 seconds left to play here. 36-17 is our score as the Bulldogs lead the Tigers. Tigers bring it across the timeline. Hammond with the ball in his hand, left wing. Little three dribbles right to the lane. No good. Peyton Smith rebound for the Bulldogs. One and done again for Clay Center. One shot probably opportunity as 30 seconds roll off here. First half action. Jack Lauer, ball in his hands up top, trying to run a little backdoor screen for Sanders Zutterman. Can't find anyone, kicks it back up top to Rhett. Now it does get in the hands of Zutterman right on the M of Marysville. Zutterman right side wing, gets it up top. Ooh, just went off the hands of his fingertips. Lauer saves it here right in front of the bench somehow. That pass from Sanders Zutterman wasn't quite where his intended to. Good hustle from Jack Lauer, saving the possession for Marysville. Rhett Williams will inbound it right in front of the timeline. Gets it to his brother, Rhett. Rhett. Now up top, Jack Lauer. Seven seconds left as it happens. Lauer gets into the lane, but we're going to have a reach-in foul as that's going to be Owen Craig picking up his second and going to send Jack Lauer to the line again. 5.1 left to play. Marysville 36, Clay Center 17, looking to extend this lead. First free throw up and no good as Lauer's not able to get his free throw to go. Rebound taken in by Craig. He plays center. One zip, half-court shot on the way. That's going to be good. Jace Wheeler with the half-court three ball as we roll into halftime 36-20. to 20. We're going to take a quick break, come back with stats and scores. You're listening to Marysville Bulldog Action here on KNDY Radio. CJ Express Stores in Marysville and Frankfurt wish everyone a happy holiday season. Make CJ your last stop before you hit the road. With friendly and helpful staff, snacks, drinks, and premium dino fuel. Now save even more when you download the new CJ Go app. Safe travels from CJ Express with locations in Marysville and Frankfurt. Surprise the man in your life this Christmas with something he really wants. More power. Table saws, cordless drills, impacts, trimmers, and chainsaws. Perfect for gift giving, Hometown Lumber in Marysville and Axel Lumber have Milwaukee and DeWalt power tools and accessories. Pull lasting holiday memories fresh from the flame of your new solo stove fire pit. Built for the backyard and beyond and great for any age, make a solo stove from Hometown Lumber in Marysville the number one gift on your list this year. Honeyman Auto Sales and Service. Drive by or check inventory online at HoneymanAuto.com. You can even schedule a test drive online as well. With lots of choices, Honeyman works to make yours the best buying experience with customer service a top priority. Competitive pricing, knowledgeable staff, and superior customer service right here at home. With a full service shop and a selection of both cars and trucks in all price ranges, see Honeyman Auto Sales and Service East Pony Express Highway. Marysville today. First half action is wrapped up here. Max Blasky with the call here as the Marysville Bulldogs leading by 16, 36 20 against the Clay Center Tigers as North Central Kansas League action kicks off tonight here in Marysville. 
It was an offensive flow for that first half. Marysville jumped out to the 28-12 first quarter lead where they were held to only eight points there in the second. 8-2 as well for Clay Center as that's how we set at our 36-20 lead. Three balls were on the way to for Marysville. Free throws, though, not so much as Marysville was two for six, or excuse me, four for six from the line, four for seven from the line, just over 50% from the game after they were screwed down at the Valley Heights. They only allowed Clay Center to get to the lane four times, but Clay Center three for four, though, on those free throws. Of course, a young team Clay Center brings into this uh, contest. Season record one and one. Very good test for them and a good test for Marysville against a league opponent after they were able to handle Valley Heights last Tuesday, 64 to 35. Like we said, fast and furious, a lot of threes, some uncharacteristic turnovers, though, for Marysville in that first half. But defensively, forced play center to a lot of one and duns on that defensive end, then not allow offensive rebound to become a problem. And with an athletic and fast team such as Marysville has, that is going to be a key here heading in late as the season gets long. Whole teams to one possession, one shot opportunity as if, and they did that exactly in the first half. For Clay Center, though, they couldn't find a mark from the lane. They did hit two threes there in that first half, but that was it. Just couldn't find a flow against this team. A young team, four sophomores in the starting lineup, one senior, and I believe that athleticism for Marysville did start to hamper their ability there late in that second quarter. We're going to take one more time out here at halftime, come back with a better look at stats and scores. You're listening to Marysville High School Basketball as they lead the Clay Center Tigers 36-20. Halftime score. Generations have relied on Kinsley's of Marysville, the Patton Funeral Chapel in Frankfurt, Hanover Mortuary, Ward Funeral Homes of Lynn in Washington, and Landreth Axtell Funeral Home. You can continue to rely on the professional experience that they provide and the heartfelt concern that they offer each family that they serve. Caring concern in your family's time of need. At Galloway Uyghurs and Brenniger, we're about building relationships, one client and one issue at a time. I'm Jason Brenniger, and I invite you to visit with me for any legal services you might have, including probate, estate planning, and trust administration. Advanced planning has countless advantages to your family, including greater control and disposition of your assets and tax issues that might come up. Call for a no-obligation appointment today. Check us out on our Facebook page or at gwblaw.net. Time action here as the boys team leads Clay Center 36 to 20. Going to go ahead and take a look here at the girls game as we do at halftime every game. Of course, the girls unfortunately couldn't find the winning end on that one. 24-32 was the final score in that one as Clay Center used a 16 to nothing run in the fourth quarter to pull away from that game. Marysville did hold a 21 to 14 lead, but couldn't find the March second half as they were held scoreless in the fourth quarter. Scoring for the Lady Bulldogs, led by Haley Ingalls with six. Lindsey Dressman had five, as well as Bella Raider, a three ball in her mark for Raider. Lone three for Bryn O'Neill as she had three points in the contest and only two points for Maddie Cap there in the second quarter. Like we talked about, defense for Clay Center absolutely stiffened Marysville. Marysville only scored three points the entire second half. For Clay Center, they were paced by Haley Dent. She had 13. The 5'6 senior played extremely well, especially there in the fourth quarter. She ended up <clears throat> tallying seven, nine points there in the second half, not to be outdone. Reagan McDonald pitched in 11, two points for Megan Wright. And then Mackenzie Miller also pitched in three for Clay Center, like we talked about. 16 to nothing run helped Bevy Clay Center to that 24-32 win. In this boys' game, it has been a balanced offensive attack for Marysville. Every scorer scoring there in that first half, led, of course, by Jack Lauer with three triples there in that first half as well. 11 points for him. Six points for Rhett Williams, who had back-to-back -back triples there in the first quarter. 
not to be outdone, his twin brother Rook had four. Peyton Smith pitched in four as well. And Will Otot had three. And then Thomas Barons with six quick ones off the bench there in the first half helped push Marysville out to a 28-12 lead at the quarter. Second quarter action came back. Clay Center scoring eight. Marysville eight as well. That's how we set 36 to 20. Looking at Clay Center scoring there, that first half action all from the scores. Cole Patterson had six. Owen Craig had five. Jace Wheeler had five as well. And the lone senior, Mark Hoffman, had four points to round out the scoring for Clay Center. A couple minutes away from second half action here in Marysville, just about ready to tip off. Max Blasi with the coverage here tonight. We're going to take one more quick timeout. We'll be right back, though, as you're listening to high school basketball action here, KNDY Radio. Double the joy. Double the joy. Double the joy. Ho, ho, ho. We're doubling the joy this holiday season at Blue Valley Technologies. Refer a friend, and you get $40, and they get $40. Refer as many friends and family members as you can before the end of the year, and the credits will show up on your Blue Valley bill. Visit bluevalley.net forward slash double the joy today. Terms and conditions apply. See store for details. Sunflower Community Credit Union recognizes that members' health, both personal and financial, is top priority. In order to make your banking a completely safe experience, they're proud to now offer drive-in convenience, Monday through Friday, 7.30 till 5.30, Saturday, 8.30 till noon. Lending can be done remotely as well. Contact their friendly loan officers at 562-3741. New members always welcome. Call, go online, or drop by Sunflower Community Credit Union in Marysville for more details. Caring about your personal and financial health, Sunflower Community Credit Union. Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance, providing high quality coverage and service, all at a competitive premium cost. Since 1888, Bremen Farmers Mutual has offered homeowner, farm owner, business owner, fire, and inland marine coverage. Dependable and affordable. See your local agent representing Bremen Farmers Mutual Insurance. Learn more about the various insurance products offered by going online at BFMIC.com. Thank you to all our regional and, of course, Marysville boosters for making this broadcast happen here tonight and every night. Looking ahead at the schedule, Friday night action will wrap up this week's play. But stick around as Marysville has two home games next week. Concordia comes into town on Tuesday. Chapman rolls into town then on Friday. Both 4.30 tips for JV games. Approximately 6 o'clock starts for girls basketball. Of course, we will have coverage here on KNDY Radio Live 95.94.1. AM 1570 online at sunflowerstateradio.com. And if you haven't already, download our app. Take us anywhere you go with you. Here on this December night, though, Friday night basketball action, the Marysville Bulldogs lead by 16 at half as halftime action is underway against Clay Center. Will Otot's going to try and break the pressure himself for Clay Center, but step on the near side out of bounds line as that's going to be a timeout right out of the gate for Marysville. Pressure something that the Bulldogs had to fight with there in the first half as Clay Center likes to run a trapping pressure. There are good hands by Williams on the defensive end for Marysville. We'll see how Marysville attacks Clay Center's defense here momentarily as there's a turnover for Clay Center. So just like that, turnover Marysville and turnover right back to Clay Center as this has turned into a turnover battle right here first half. Once again, 2-1-2 two, two pressure to your 1-2-2 two, two pressure from the Panthers. Marysville easily breaks it, gets across the timeline here. Ball in the hands of Otot, right up top, right in front of us in front of the bench. Nice little find, nice little even better pump fake. Who can have finished Rick Williams? But there on the offensive board, Peyton Smith puts it up and down for the deuce. Good find there. Rhett Williams or Rick Williams couldn't fish after the pump fake. Good find from Otot. Marysville back on defense, straight man-to-man, good little pick and roll. Good hands there by Will Otot as he comes off his man, gets the deal, and then offensively they're going to call a charge on Otot as Jace Wheeler stepped in front of him, took the charge there, first foul, or excuse me, third foul is going to be there on Otot. 
maybe should have tried to give that one up just a little sooner. Nonetheless, got the turnover. Of course, Scott Brown pretty animated down there trying to defend his player, but nonetheless, the official says, Will Otog will take a seat now as that'll be Sanders Zutterman coming into the game for his play. Trouble getting it in for Clay Center, but they finally do. Marysville in a little bind here defensively. Two men on one. They need to get back in position. Clay Center working it around. It's going to be Craig up top. Thought about the three dozen. Now pulls it back, kicks it right side, wing to Wheeler. Wheeler gets in the lane. A little rolling shot. It's going to be no good. Thought there was going to be a travel call. There wasn't. Clay, excuse me, Marysville comes down with the board. That's Rook Williams. On the offensive end, looking to break into this second half action. Marysville swinging it around. Baseline there goes Sanders. Zetterman throws it right into the hands of a Clay Center player. Holden Flatson's going to bring it up. That's who stole it for Clay Center. Finds a cutting Craig up and no good there as Wheeler couldn't find the bunny from about two inches around Marysville. Escapes a bullet there. Rick Williams comes down with another board. She has been a force here second half. Jake Lauer gets it across the timeline. Easy for Marysville, but pressure there. Ooh, perfect pass. Good job there. Oh, Smith inside. Couldn't finish. Zutterman can either, but we're going to have a foul called from the back end. Excellent pass here near side, though. I believe that was Rhett Williams finding Peyton Smith. A bounce pass all the way from the coach's box. Down low, Smith couldn't finish. Neither could Zutterman, but there is going to be a foul on Clay Center. That's going to be Wheeler's third team first here in the second half. Marysville inbounded underneath their own basket. It'll be Lauer to trigger. Right back to Lauer in the corner. That three's going to be long. Saw that one calming. The Zanderman tracks it down. Kicks it back out to Rhett Williams. Back now to Zetterman. Williams left wing trying to find a way. Three dribbles and picks it up. That's almost a travel. Once an offensive foul doesn't get it, but gets it to Lauer. Lauer up top against Craig. Getting into the motion of the ocean, and it's going to be a hold down low. Lauer forcing the action. Foul's going to be called on Owen Craig. This Clay Center defense causing a little havoc for Marysville early on here. Not quite sure where they need to go. They get it in, though, up top to Rook Williams. Three ball on the way from Peyton Smith. That's going to be off. No good. One and done as Colton Flatson gets it for Clay Center. But stealing it is Williams down the lane. Layup good for Zetterman, but foul on the floor. Good hustle by both Williams brothers who were there. Forced the turnover on the easy inbound pass for Clay Center. It's going to be underneath as Zetterman wasn't passing or shooting there, but still nonetheless foul drawn up on Clay Center. Colton Platson is going to pick up his second personal foul here of this ball game as Clay Center is still scoreless here second half. Up top, ball in the hands of Rhett Williams, looking to crack this Clay Center defense. It's in the hands of Lauer here near wing, now opposite side, Rook Williams. Rook Williams trying to get into the lane, does a little hack foul, and another foul for Clay Center. So just like that, we're going to have four quick uh, personal foul, team fouls on Clay Center. That one's going to be on Jace Brown now. Peyton Zetterman getting that bucket to go in for Marysville just like that. They've extended their lead. 42-20. 20-point 20 lead for Marysville there. As a foul, though, defensively, quick action going here. Second half, lots of fouls, lots of buckets into the lane. Shot up and good. That's going to be Jace Wheeler finding the soft spot in the Marysville zone on that foul call. Red Williams picks up his first, Marysville second. Play center in their 2-1-2 pressing zone. Good break, though, into the lane. Finally a dunk for Rhett Williams. Had an opportunity three times in the three games before. Then finally gets that jam to go down. Yep, five-second call as Clay Center just let the ball roll down after that dunk by Rhett Williams. Energy for Marysville now. Coach not too happy for Clay Center, but just like that, Marysville using momentum, 20-point lead, 42-22s going to be our score here. 4.33 left to play in this second half. Little explaining going on here for from the refs. Play center not happy with the explanation, and just like that, right into Peyton Smith. 
Marysville smelling blood and using the opportunity. A too quick there for Smith as we're going to have a foul called on Rhett Williams. That's going to be his second. Just a little bit too angsty there after throwing that down that dunk. I'm going to pick up his second. Lee Center still talking about that inbound pass. After Marysville was able to get the bucket, the ball just kind of rolled along the baseline. No one from Marysville touched it. It's Clay Center's job to get the ball to the inbounder. Still need an explanation from 30 minutes ago. I think we finally got one here as Clay Center's going to inbound it, though. Trailing by 24, or 22. 44-22 is our score. little action stoppage here while we have a chance here looking at scoring the second half already. Peyton Smith with four quick ones. Brett Williams, of course, a two moments ago, and Sanders Utterman with two off the bench. As defensively, Marysville will stay in there man-to-man. So high-intensity ball going on, and there's a turnover. Marysville, Colton Plaston turns it over, Clay Center. Gives it off to Lauer, does Williams. Lauer steps into a three, and just like that, Marysville has taken control, second half action. Good job there, assist going to Rep Williams. All the way into the lane, it's going to be Colton Blatson as he's going to draw the charge on Peyton Smith. Good call there, Smith was not set on the charge attempt. Good attempt, though, but we're going to go to the line for two free throws. Fourth team foul for Marysville, four teams again, or four teams for Clay Center as well. First free throw up and good for Plantson as he sinks the first free throw. That's Clay Center's first free throw. There's about two minutes to play there in that second quarter. Only three points here for Clay Center in this third quarter as the Marysville defense has been stifling. Second free throw up and good for Plantson. The substitution will happen here for Clay Center. Straight man-to-man pressure easily gets it into Lauer. I believe that's what they're going to let it set at. Yep, straight man-to-man pressure. They give it over now far side to Sanders Utterman. Utterman trapped in the quarter, looking to get it to Williams. Williams does. Williams attacking. Had the right opportunity. Bad handle. Somehow gets it to Lauer. Lauer almost got the three. Offensive rebound, though. Sanders Utterman getting into the lane, using his length to find it. Jack Lauer into the lane. Ball's going to be tipped away, saved by Rhett Williams. Sloppy basketball here going on. Marysville's going to reset. Ball with Lauer here, right wing, and Scott Brown barks out orders. It's going to go far right corner to Zetterman. Zetterman looking to get it inside to Williams. Can't find anyone. Now gets it here up top to Lauer. Lauer with the ball on his right hip, hands across his arm. Right past Craig, hand check foul up top. That is going to be a fourth personal for Owen Craig, who has had the unfortunate job of trying to check Jack Lauer here tonight. Lauer, of course, continuing the scoring montage. Beautiful pass right into the middle. Devin Tomer, two points. That's going to force Clay Center into a timeout. We're going to take it with them, too, as well as Marysville has opened this one up here in second half action. 29-24 is our score. You're listening to High School Basketball on KNDY Radio. Farmers, they're the lifeblood of America. The men and women who tackle the toughest jobs to put clothes on our backs and food on our tables. They might do it quietly, but their genuine values and tireless work ethic are an inspiration to us all. Some might say farming is a thankless occupation, so that's why we're taking the time to say thanks. Farm Bureau Financial Services, protecting what matters most. Patrick Booty in Marysville is your local agent with Marshall County, Farm Bureau Insurance, and Farm Bureau Financial Services. Max Blasky joining you here tonight on the call for KNDY. The Bulldogs of Marysville has opened this up here. 49-24 is our score. 315 left to play. Third quarter action has been bevied here by some opening third quarter points already. Three points for Jack Lauer, four for Peyton Smith, Brett Williams pitching in two, then off the bench, Sanders Utterman pitching in two, Devin Tomer two as well here. Just third quarter already. Clay Center only four points in this quarter after only scoring 20 there in the first half. It has been the defense for Marysville that I have honestly been very impressed with here using their athleticism and their length to their advantage all game in the same intensity, even more intensity, I'd say, they came out with second half. There's a nice little move. Jackson Henry, who didn't get any playing time there the first half, 
walks into the game. First bucket for the junior, six foot junior. Nice little left hand move there. Marysville looking to get it inside, trying to get it to Barron's. Now gets it outside to Lauer. Lauer on the way. It's going to be short on three rebounds. Going to be taken by Clay Center, and they're going to look to push. It's going to be Brownell pushing for Clay Center. They're going to kick it out. Three ball on the way for Hoffman. Mark Hoffman, three ball on the way. And just like that, five quick points for Clay Center has brought us back to within 20. Coach Smith for Clay Center, pouring his voice to get up into the grill of Marysville. Still trailing by 20, but Marysville easily breaks the full court pressure. Pass inside, it goes to Sanders Zutterman. Now he's trapped in the corner, back out top to Rook Williams. Hands it off to Jack Lauer. Ball in the hands of Lauer like it normally is. Lauer looking to work. Zutterman on the way, three, no air ball. Offensive rebound. Ooh, a bounce stays there. Good hustle from Rook Williams, and then good hustle from Dan Sanders Zutterman following his own shot down the lane, but couldn't quite keep it. It's turnover. Marysville's going to give it right back over to the Tigers of Clay Center. Black and orange bringing it across the timelines. It's going to be all in the hands of Craig for Clay Center, trying to find a cutter, can't do it. Now swings it over far side, hands to Thadman. Into the lane and a travel turnover, Clay Center. Some happy feet there as Clay Center has went to a few subs that didn't see some action there in the first half. Jackson Henry won as these. Thadman, too, as well, a 5'9 sophomore. Otop's going to bring it up for the Bulldogs, pull it out there after getting it across the timeline, looking to work some offense. Up top, Barron's now right side. Sanders Utterman swings it inside to Rook Williams on a little cut. Good job there by Rook Williams, keeping those feet moving. Now finds Will Otop, left wing. Will Otop, nice little Euro step, can't finish, though. Rebound taken, Thomas Barron's right at the front of the rim, no good. Sanders Utterman comes flying in again, finds the offensive rebound. Two offensive rebounds for Marysville in this possession, keeping the ball alive, and that's that athleticism and fire that I was talking about. Saw a lot come out of halftime. Williams looking to get it set up here, top of the key, trying to work one-on-one against Hoffman. Down left-hand lane. Nice find to Zetterman. Zetterman's going to be fine. Now, but I want to talk about the pass from Rook Williams. Normally more of a post player, but used his little handles there. Got airborne underneath the basket. Found a cutting Zetterman. As that's going to foul out Owen Craig. Owen Craig fouls out with five points for Clay Center with 109 left to play here in this third quarter. So one less for Clay Center down the line. That's 16 fouls now for Clay Center. Four only here for Marysville in the second half. Two dribbles up and no good as Zetterman can't find the mark from free throw land. Marysville now here only five for nine from the free throw line in this game. A 10 free throw on the way for the Bulldogs. Free throw up and no good. So five for 10 from the line, 50% just like they were down in Marysville. Play center looking to push, ball in the hands of Hoffman. We're going to have a body foul as Hoffman goes blowing into the lane. Devin Tomer's going to pick up that personal foul, though, as Marysville's defense couldn't quite close the lane as Hoffman came down hot from the top of the key. Checking into the game now goes Peyton Smith. A well-deserved round of applause for Devin Tomer as he heads towards the bench. Play center easily gets it in. Three ball on the way. That's going to be short from the top of the key. Nothing but air saved, but it is going to be called out of bounds. Jace Wheeler couldn't find the mark from deep there. As Will Otot's going to come back into the game, Thomas Barron's will take a seat. Otot, Smith, Tomer, Lauer, and it's going to be Rhett Williams now in the ball game for the Bulldogs. Still full court, man to man for Otot, or excuse me, for play center as the Bulldogs get it into Otot left corner. Otot all the way down the left sideline gets it to Lauer, trying to look for Williams to the key. Lauer into the lane. Too easy for Jack Lauer. Just a little floater. Didn't even really shoot that one. Just kind of flipped it up there towards the lane. Two points is good. 35 seconds left to play here. Third quarter action. 51-29 is our scores. Marysville leads play center. Good little back cut and good little shot there from reserve. Jason Ballin with the two there as they found the overexerted Marysville defense on a back cut. Jack Lauer is going to bring it up for Marysville down the right side. And we're going to have a reach-in foul behind from Bennett. Brownell, that's going to be his second 
will send Lauer towards the line or to the line. A one-on-one -one opportunity here the rest of the way. Of course, Lauer is so good from the line. Very, very impressed with his shooting here the last couple weeks. Two for three from the line. Had three threes there in the first half. First free throw is up and good. As now Lauer is four, three for four from the line. Otop will get a well-deserved rest as Rick Williams steps back onto the court. Second free throw up and good for Lauer as that's extending the Marysville lead. 53-31, 15 seconds left to play here. Third quarter action in Marysville. Play center whipping it around the top of the key. Ball in the hands of Weller. Looking to get something going against the right side defense of Jack Lauer. Now in the hands of Hoffman, Lone Senior, and Clay Center. In the lane strip, finds Williams streaking down the lane, but that's going to be too late as Marysville heads into the fourth quarter, leading this ball game 53-31. Well, fourth quarter action just after this timeout. You're listening to High School Basketball Action. Legacy Carpet Cleaning will give your floors a fresh as new look. Let their team of dedicated professionals tackle your carpet or tile cleaning. Your home feels fresh, looks great, and makes a more healthy environment for you and your family. Call Skyler Price today for an appointment and let Legacy Carpet Cleaning in Marysville go to work for you. JD Construction wants to make your dream home a reality. Whether you want to build a custom home, remodel your current home, or add a new deck or patio, JD Construction can handle all your residential construction needs. They are also experts when it comes to agriculture and residential buildings. For small or large projects, consider a custom building from JD Construction. They'll give you high-quality work while staying on schedule and budget. Contact Jared Smith at 785-353-2312. From start to finish, it's J.D. Construction. And from start to finish, the Bulldogs and Marys will have led this one against Clay Center, holding a 53-31 lead here as fourth quarter action gets started. Marys will held a 28-12 lead at the end of the first quarter. Both teams scoring eight there in the second. 36-20 was our halftime score. Marysville comes out now at the end of that third quarter, <clears throat> leading 53-31. Clay Center will start the ball this fourth quarter with the ball and trailing big, needing to get something going offensively. Was very impressed, though, watching the Marysville huddle during that quarter break. Coach Scott Brown still coaching these boys up for Marysville, coaching them hard even late into this game. Three balls going to be off, no good. Jace Wheeler can't find the mark from deep. Marysville's going to bring it forward, brought down by Peyton Smith. Ball in the hands of Willow Todd as he brings it across the timeline, setting up the offense for Marysville. Little scissor action for Lauer. Now with the ball in his hands, right straight on. Now moves over to the left wing. Looking to try and get it to Williams. Can't finally get it to Smith in relief. Now does get it to Williams. That's Rook top of the key ball in his left hand. Looking to run the little action off of Williams. Does get back it up to Lauer after that little elevator screen. Lauer almost gets it stolen away, but keeps the handle here as he goes to work against Brennell. Down into the right lane, tries to kick it out, finds Willow top, top of the key for three ball on the way. No good, the rebound taken in. Jack Lauer, little turnaround, no good. Peyton Smith fighting for the offensive rebound. Otop brings it down again. Offensive rebound stopped at the left block, finds Smith left corner, thought about a three smartly, pulls it out to Otop. Otop thought about seven in his three, finds the cutting. Rook Williams into the lane, tough little shot, no good. Brother Rett pulls down the offensive rebound. Another opportunity for Williams, three ball on the way. He's going to bring in his offensive board. Fifth opportunity, finally Marysville puts it in. Rick Williams finally putting in the two after five offensive rebounds for Marysville there. Gives them the two-point lead. Persistence, persistence, persistence. Kept going for the Bulldogs there, and it finally paid off. Nice little move into the lane for Henry. Jackson Henry, the five-foot junior, went down into the lane. A little hand check's going to be called on Peyton Smith. That's going to be his second. Ball's going to be inbounded underneath the clay center bucket. Clay Center inbounding it underneath their own bucket. Finally, they do get it in to Platson here. A little push out top. That's Rhett Williams getting into the body of Platson. So two quick fouls for Marysville has now put Clay Center on into the bonus the rest of the way. 
621 left to play here. Fourth quarter action. Marysville still holding a comfortable 55-31 lead. Shot up and good for Clay Center. Cole Platson with his first bucket here of the second half. That's going to give him nine on the game. Second one up and good as well. As now Marysville pulls to 55-33 within 22 for the Tigers. Straight man-to-man, full-court pressure still by Clay Center. Otot easily gets it across the timeline within the 10. Otot now working right side. Yep, we're going to have a bump. Sold that one. Jace Wheeler is going to pick up his fourth team foul. Is now guard trouble or foul trouble for the guards. The Clay Center is starting to take shape. Will Otot now will step to the line. Opportunity to put up his first free throw of the night. It's up and good. Excuse me, that's his third free throw of the night. Now two for three here on the evening. Four points here for the sophomore as the scoring has been very even tonight here for Marysville. Of course, 56 points already. Six minutes left to play. Possibly could even hit the 70-point mark here tonight. Second free throw up and good for Otot. 57-33, your lead. Marysville still a very comfortable lead. Clay Center swinging it offensive end. In the corner, it's going to be hands in the back, on the hands of Burnell. Now up top to Hammond. Hammond looking to get something going back to Burnell. Right side. Here near side, Platson. Platson into the lane. Good, strong move again. And he's going to go to the lane. So action slowing here in the last six minutes of the fourth quarter as three straight possessions with fouls have put Clay Center to the line. Opportunity to put up points with no time coming off the clock. Two dribbles, free throw is up and good there for Platson. Second one up and just the same. Four for four here in this quarter for Cole, the sophomore. Brings it back down here to 22. Flower easily gets across the timeline for Marysville. Hands off to Williams. That's going to be Red. It's going to be Lauer, Otot, Smith, and both of Williams. Your starters are back out there for Marysville. Swings it left wing. Otot gets into the lane. Yep, we're going to have an arm bar extended. Just kind of got that forearm out there. It wasn't a lot of contact, but they're going to call that every, every time as Otot's going to pick up his They say that's Will Otot's fifth personal foul. I think that's his fourth. If it was, though, Otot will foul out here with five points tonight. Good showing from the sophomore. Play center on the offensive end. Works it inside here to Hoffman. Hoffman left block. Gives off. Good little give and go to Hammond there. Now, as Weston Hammond gets his first two here of the night in the fourth quarter. Straight man, Marysville, close to the 10-second call. Jack Lauer somehow gets it across the timeline. No one stops and finds a streaking Peyton Smith, but off the hands of a Clay Center defender, it's going to be inbound ball underneath Marysville basket. 20-point lead here for the Bulldogs. This is where we set basically all quarter long. 57-37 the score. Marysville gets it in easily to Smith down low on the inbound. Couldn't find the shot as trying to go for the offensive board. Jack Lauer gets his big body in there but draws a foul. So here we go again. Clay Center with an opportunity to put up points without the clock rolling. Jackson Henry, number 12, a six-foot junior, is going to step to the line already with two points there in the fourth quarter. No foul shots here tonight. That foul was on Lauer. It's only his second as Henry's first shot is up and no good. Second free throw up, and that one's going to be up and around. No good. Rebound taken in by Lauer after it's fought for out on the court a little bit. Marysville now offensively heading their way. And another foul called here. Doing a little math on my end, trying to keep track of all these fouls. As now we're about six back-to-back-to-back possessions. Jack Lauer is going to step to the line, looking to extend his scoring total on the night. First free throw up and good as that foul is going to be called 
on Jace Brunel, his third personal four play center. It's going to be play center's 10th foul, so Marysville's going to be in the double bonus the rest of the way as Lauer's first free throw was up and good. Second one pure as well. 20 points already here for Jack Lauer after a 27-point explosion down at Valley Heights last Tuesday. Still 440 left to play and another foul. Jack Lauer's going to pick this one up, though, as that's going to turn into his third foul. Chances for both teams here to stat, to stuff the stat sheet from the free throw line. Mark Hoffman's going to step to the line. Seven points on the night. First free throw is up and good there for the lone senior starter on this Clay Center team. One dribble left-hand shot up and good again. Hoffman back-to-back now as Clay Center trails again by 20. 59-39 is our score here. Lauer's going to try and bring it up against this pressure. Easily does. Gets it to Zutterman here, right wing. Looks to hand it off towards Lauer. Finally gets it up top to Williams here, top the key. That's going to be Rook and Rhett out there, but ball's going to be in the hands of Lauer as they are most nights. Content to run to the clock here. 420 left to play. Good looking pass there as Rhett Rook Williams gets lost running along the baseline. Ran a little scissor screen for him from this right side. Ran him over to the left block wide open and a great looking pass from Lauer to Williams. Two points, Marysville. Three ball on the way though from Clay Center. That's going to be off the rim. No good as two Clay Center Tigers fought for it. Jackson Henry. And Colton Flapson couldn't find the handle on that one as it'll go back over towards Marysville. Smith's going to take a seat for Marysville, and along with that, Scott Brown's going to take a timeout himself. We're going to take it with him as well as Marysville's leading 61-39. Four minutes left to play here in this ballgame. Listening to High School Basketball, KNDY Radio. United Bank and Trust has been fulfilling the banking needs of families and businesses in Northeast Kansas for decades. United Bank and Trust is always advancing and is excited to introduce a new and improved mobile banking app for your smartphone. Simply search UBT Mobile in the App Store and download. It's a mobile fast world and so is United Bank and Trust. The bank for your future. United Bank and Trust. Banking for your way of life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Free CPA in Marysville has built a heritage of trust and reliability with your accounting, tax, and business advisory needs through the years. Certified public accountant Marcus Fries, with over 25 years of experience, and his staff continue that tradition of outstanding service to you, the customer, each and every day. Free CPA, downtown Marysville. Max Lasky with you on the call here tonight as Marysville has led from the opening tip here against Clay Center. Boys action about ready to finish up. Four minutes left to play here. Fourth quarter action. Marysville leading 61-39. It has been a balanced effort for the Bulldogs so far here tonight. Scoring from every starter as well as three bench players has been the key tonight. Lauer straight on three. No good. Rebound taken in by Williams. That's going to be Rook Williams. Offensive board putting up the deuce now as he has 12 points here, or excuse me, 10 points here in this contest. Marysville still crashing that offensive board. Good little crossover dribble here defensively. Ooh, boy, that was a good shot. Cole Platterson stepping up. He sank four free throws in a row and now sank a triple down, getting some stroke going, though. Slate Center still trailing big, though. Fourth quarter action, 63-42. Lauer's going to bring it across for Marysville. Now just play keep away with the ball. Marysville content to run some clock. It's going to be both Williams brothers out there, Jack Lauer, uh, Sanders Utterman, as well as Thomas Barron. And now a body foul is going to be called on Clay Center. Cole Platson, it's going to be his third team foul, 10th team foul. So here we go, double bonus the rest of the way. Lauer will step here to the line, looking to continue his impressive night. First one up and good there for Jack. As he has three for three from the free throw line here in this fourth quarter. Had 11 points there in the first. Looking to extend that now. Second one up and good. Four for four from the line for the senior here in this fourth quarter. He is your go-to shooter if you're in Marysville. 
miscommunication. Somehow we're going to call that off on. No, 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 no. It's going to go Marysville's way. I thought that was going to be Clay Center's basketball, but it is going to go Marysville's way as a a miscommunication on the part of the Tigers gives it back over towards Marysville. 250 left to play here. 23 point lead for the Bulldogs as they look to run some offense. Sanders Underman top the key looking to get something rolling here against this straight man defense for Clay Center. Jack Lauer tries to get in the lane, gets stopped, hands it off to Williams now, gets it right back to Lauer. Here we go. Lauer now all the way down the lane. Nice little pass. Finds Thomas Barron's turn left hand shot. No good. Rick Williams again at the lane. No good. Jack Lauer gets in there and he's going to go back to the lane. I want to talk about the effort though of Rick Williams, the 6'4 senior. Back to back plays now. The hustle and the heart has not stopped for this Marysville team as they still continue to tra- crash the glass with reckless abandon. Lauer's first free throw. That one's going to be no good as finally he misses one here in this fourth quarter. Second free throw miss on the night for him. Second one, though, pure as he was not going to be mistaken on that one. Foul for Clay Center was on 30. Weston Hammond, that's going to be his third personal. Quickly the other way. Clay Center scores. Jace Weller gets it up and down, but a turnover, a travel call before the bucket counts. That's going to wave it off. No good. So Marysville avoids that one there. Window dressing from here on out. 2-10 left to play. Fourth quarter. Marysville still holding a healthy 24-point lead. Lauer's going to be hounded up top by Flatson. Now down the lane. Lauer gets past him. Two points. Good for the bunny. Jack Lauer. Two more added on to his total. Now trying to go back the other way is Flatson, and he does. And we're going to get an and one. Colt Flatson, who has absolutely erupted here in this second half. Nine points already here in this fourth quarter alone. Opportunity to finish off the old three, old-fashioned three three-point play as Thomas Barons picks up his second personal foul on that. Finish the old-fashioned three-point play. He does, as now that cuts Marysville's lead only down to 23. 68-45 now. Marysville brings it across the timeline. Lauer, of course, right-handed dribble going against Platson. Looking to get something going now as Marysville looks like they're going to empty the bench. It's going to be up top here. Barons with the ball in his hand. Or Zutterman trying to get something going. Tries to go near court. Oh, somehow saved by Jack Lauer. He looked like he was going to set up the three. Three opportunity for Rook Williams. Scott Brown says pull it back out, run some offense. Clock running, 120 left to play. Window dressing from here. Out top ball in the hands of Williams. That's going to be Rook Williams, who has 10 points here on the night to go along with eight from his brother. Up top, ball in the hands of Lauer. Yep. That's going to be a foul. Cole Clatson had that arm across the chest region there of Lauer. Smart basketball move just rips through those hands. Lauer's going to step back to the line here. Double bonus. Chance to hit 70 here for Marysville. This team for Marysville offensively can, I think, be very good. As unfortunately, free throw is going to be missed by Lauer. But they scored seven, or excuse me, not 72. Scoring 68 points here tonight. Scored 64 the other night down at Valley Heights and 54 a week or so ago there at Sabetha. So this offense for Marysville, if they can find stops defensively and get easy buckets, this team's going to look real good. I think they're going to have trouble when you find a team that can match you defensively and athletically on that end, cause some troubles for Marysville. But tonight, it was all Bulldogs from the beginning. Second free throw is up and good as Lauer checks out. I believe that's going to be it for him tonight. Nathan Fisher is going to check in for the Bulldogs along with Blake Spicer. He will be in. Jake Dakenbrink, a well, will get some action here. Colton Shoddy as well as the reserves are in for Marysville. Devin Tomer, the only one regular out there still playing. Just rolled under a minute here. Marysville leading 69-45 against Play Center as they look to open North Central Kansas League action up 1-0 as there's a near steal here. Boy, that would have been close. Nathan Fisher stuck his long right arm out there. About got the steal, but it's going to stay Play Center's ball. 
So Marysville will open North Central Kansas League action up at 1-0, and defeating Clay Center here tonight. Just as soon as the final score hits, we will have it as well. That's going to move Marysville on into the season 3-1, and back-to-back straight wins now. Of course, Valley Heights last week, and of course, here Clay Center here tonight. Going to move Mary, or Clay Center down to 1-2 and two on the season. A young Clay Center team. You want to be surprised if you see a lot of improvement as this year goes on. And, of course, next year, too. Started four sophomores, only one senior, and only two seniors on the bench, too. So a young team there as at the line free throw is up and no good for Colton Tagman. 25 seconds left to go, 69-45 is our score. Marysville has held the lead since the beginning. Free throw up and good for Tadman. Since now Marysville's going to push it. It's going to be ball in the hands of Danka Break. Now a deep three. It's going to go off the rim, wide open. Nathan Fisher, he was, though. Play center's going to push it, try and get a three of their own. They won't. Yes, they will. They pull it out straight along three. It's going to be no good. Eight seconds as the I believe we will win chance start here for the Bulldogs. Eight seconds left to play here. 64-46 is our score. And Marysville will just hold on to this ball, and that is going to do it here tonight. Marysville Bulldogs move on to two and one or three and one on this young season as that pushes play center down to two and one. Boys win 69-46. We're gonna take a quick break. Keep it right here, though. We'll have sap scores and highlights on the post game here. You're listening to High School Basketball KNDY Radio. Whether it's a car accident, storm damage, or a fire, when the unthinkable happens, it doesn't matter if you saved money in 15 minutes. In this moment, it doesn't matter if your neighbor has the same insurance as you. In this moment, what matters is that your independent insurance agent and the company that stands behind you have you covered. Please come see the girls on Broadway at Alliance Insurance, 785-562-2393. Reflections Hallmark is all about Christmas. Keepsake ornaments, signature Christmas ornaments, holiday greeting cards, and wrapping paper, gift bags, and box cards. Buy one, get one half off. Out with the old and in with the new as all of last year's Christmas ornaments are 75% off. Shop Reflections Hallmark, downtown Marysville. We're involved in the community. We believe in this area. And we reinvest locally to help the local economy. First Commerce Bank. Experience the difference. Member FDIC. You love farming through the good times and the bad, and you hope and pray your investments will pay off. Some of the risk factors you can control and others you cannot. That brings me to the importance of risk management. I'm Dave Savage with Blue Valley Insurance. With the right insurance plan, your farming operation will be protected against the loss affecting your crops, livestock, equipment, and property. Manage your risk with the help of Blue Valley Insurance in Lynn, Greenleaf, Hanover, and Marysville. For reliable trash pickup and roll-off service, call on Temp's Disposal. Containers sized to meet your needs for residential, commercial, and construction jobs. Always prompt and professional, Temp's Disposal serves Marshall, Washington, and Gage Counties. Let them go to work for you. If it's their weekly collection schedule or one-time pickups for construction, moving, or cleanup, Temp's Disposal in Marysville is a phone call away at 785-562-5360. Back here in Marysville as the Bold Lake guys team defeats Clay Center 69 of 46 to move to three and one on this young season, pushing Clay Center down to two, one and two, excuse me. Of course, Marysville ever so important starting off league play one and nothing Clay Center 0 and one. Look at how we got here. Marysville started off the game hot and led from the opening tip. 28 points in that first quarter, and Marysville never looked back. They held a 28-12 lead at first quarter break at halftime. Both teams scored eight points there in the second quarter. 36-20 to was our score. Third quarter fairly even as well as Marysville put up 17 more. Clay Center answered with 11 
53-31 was our third quarter score. And then in that fourth quarter, fairly even, Clay, or Marysville put up 16 points, mainly in part to Jack Lauer's free throw shooting. Six of eight there in that fourth quarter, 16 points for Marysville's Clay Center only mustered up 15 there. Of course, final score 69-46. I'm going to do a tally of score stats real quick. One more final break before we wrap it up here. Once again, Marysville Bulldogs beating Clay Center 69-46. Napa Know How. Locally owned, locally operated, your Napa parts store in Marysville offers Napa parts and accessories plus the tools, equipment, and supplies you need to get every job done right the first time. The right tools at the right price plus Napa know-how. From your locally owned and locally operated Napa parts store in Marysville, Eden's Automotive. Napa know-how. Right now, one in three drivers is cruising around in a state of skepticism about just how much value their car insurance company is delivering. If you're one of them, State Farm agent John Bannister can help you get to a better state. He'll talk with you, listen to you, and help put together a policy that has you written all over it. From cost to coverage, see John Bannister, 1022 Broadway in Marysville today and get to a better state. When you roller, send for Schroeder. For complete body repair, see Jeff at Schroeder Collision Center, a family business for several generations. Let Jeff and his quality crew help you with your auto needs. Schroeder Collision Center, 701 Carolina, 562-3546. Kickhafer and Bussing, certified public accountants in Marysville and now in Seneca, are qualified and available to assist you with all of your income tax and accounting needs. Stop by and visit Ken Kickhafer, Kent Bussing, or their staff of certified public accountants and paraprofessionals. For prompt and friendly service, contact Kickhafer and Bussing at their two locations, 1100 Broadway in Marysville at 562-2100 or 508 Main Street in Seneca at 336-2400 to set up an appointment. Kickhafer and Bussing, where quality begins. Scoring totals from the guys' game. Marysville was led, as always. Jack Lauer leading the way. 24 points tonight after a 27-point outburst last Tuesday down at Valley Heights. Not to be outdone, Rook Williams pitched in 10, 8 from his brother, Rep Williams, 6 there in the first half, 8 points also from Peyton Smith, and 5 points from Will Todd as he fouled out late in the fourth quarter. All sorters, starters scoring for Marysville boys, 4 points off the bench from Sanders Utterman, 6 as well from Thomas Barron's, all there in the first quarter, and 2 as well from Devin Tomer. For Clay Center, they were led by Colton Flatson. He had 18 points bevied by or excuse me, 11 there in the second half. Mark Hoffman, the low senior on this Clay Center team, had nine. Jace Wheeler had seven points. Owen Craig, five points. West Hammond had two points as well. All stor- starters scored for Clay Center as well. Two points off the bench for Jace Brunell and Jackson Henry as well. One point for Colton Fadman. Marysville Bulldogs defeat the Clay Center Tigers 69-46 in the guys' contest. Girls' contest, Clay Center defeats the Lady Bulldogs 32-24 after Marysville held a 21-14 halftime lead. Lady Bulldogs move to 0-4 on the season as guys move on to 1-3 and coming up for the Bulldogs in action next week. Two home games as Concordia comes in Tuesday night and Chapman comes in again Friday night. Again, final score here, girls fall 32-24, boys win 69-46. For KNDI Radio, I am Max Wlaski. Have a good evening, and we will see you all again next Tuesday night. At your service 24-7, on air, online, and on our mobile app. News, weather, sports, and more. Yours from KNDY.